say you've tuned into my video and I'm certainly glad you did, but let's just address the elephant in the room right now. You're assuming I'm gonna tell you to buy in 2023 since I'm a realtor and I wanna get paid. Well, you're wrong. Okay, well now that we've gotten that out in the open and hopefully I've restored my credibility, let's talk about whether you should buy in 2023 or 2024. Well, hello, hello, this is Wendy Pennell and whether you buy in 2023 or 2024 depends on two things. What is your goal for home ownership and when will the market bring you there? Okay, now that's probably not at all what you expected. So let's talk about what those goals might be. Okay, number one, is your goal to buy when homes are more affordable? Okay, right? Is this strictly about your wallet, about your monthly budget? Or number two, is your goal to buy at the best possible price? Okay, you want rock bottom and you most certainly do not wanna catch a falling knife where you end up upside down. Now I have people commenting on my videos all the time, you know, saying that prices need to drop, you know, by 30%. 40%, 50%, okay, that's certainly gonna make you wait, right? Well, I want you to think hard about this because these are two very different things and you cannot have both in Dallas. Now, let me explain, okay, here's the thing. Interest rates drive affordability in an exponential way, okay? If you want things to become more affordable overall, you're gonna see that happen much more effectively through interest rates going down. In fact, I, I wanna show you, okay? So let, let's get our feet on the ground here for a minute and I wanna show you what I'm talking about, okay? We have six main counties surrounding Dallas, okay? So let's take a look at Denton County. In January of 2022, your median monthly mortgage payment would be $1,771 a month, okay? Your interest rate at that time, we all know, right? It was a beautiful 3%, and the median sales price was $420,000, okay? Now, fast forward to today, and to get that same monthly payment at today's interest rate of 6.5%, the median sales price would need to be $280,000, okay? So the price would need to drop by $140,000 or to 33%, okay? So a full one third of its current value. So is that happening, okay? Are the prices coming down? Like how close are we getting to that target price in the market? Well, as of today, the median monthly payment is $2,686 with a median sales price of 425,000. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Collin County, okay? In January of 2022, the mortgage part of your median monthly payment was $1,960 a month, okay? Your interest rate, again, 3%. The median sales price would be $465,000. Okay, so again, let's fast forward to today. And to get that same monthly payment at today's interest rate of 6.5%, the median sales price would need to be 310,000, okay? So the price would need to drop by 155,000, which is again, of course, mathematically one third of its current price, okay? So how close are we getting to that target price, okay? Well, as of today, the median monthly payment is 3,066 with a median sales price of 485,000. All right, well, let's take a look now at Dallas County. In January of 2022, your median monthly mortgage payment would be $1,328 a month. Your interest rate at that time was 3%. Again, median sales price was 315,000. Okay, so let's take that fast forward to today. And to get that same monthly payment at today's interest rate of 6.5%, the median sales price would need to be 210,000, okay? So prices would need to drop by 105,000. So once again, we're seeing that one third, okay? They would need to drop that much. So how close are we getting to that price, that target? Well, as of today, the median monthly payment is $2,181 with a median sales price of 345,000. Now, moving on, let's take a look at Tarrant County, okay? In January of 2022, again, the mortgage part of your median monthly payment would be $1,379 a month. Interest rates, again, 3%, and the median sales price would be $327,000. Well, let's go ahead and fast forward again to today, and to get that same monthly payment at today's interest rate of 6.5%, the median sales price would need to be $218,000. So, Prices would need to drop 109,000 or you guessed it again, no surprise by now, a third of the price. So how close are we getting to that price in the market? Okay, how close, if that's our target, how close are we to getting there? Well, as of today, the median monthly payment is $2,149 with a median sales price of $339,900. 45. All right, well, let's go ahead and give Rockwell County a try. In January of 2022, your median monthly payment would be $1,644 a month. 
your interest rate at that time was 3% and the median sales price would be 390,000. So again, let's fast forward to today and to get to that same monthly payment at today's interest rate, okay, of 6.5%, the median sales price would need to be 260,000, okay? So again, prices would need to drop by 130,000, which again is one third of the price. So how close are we getting to that target, right? Okay, well, as of today, the median monthly payment is $2,623 with a median sales price of 415,000, okay? So let's go ahead and take it south. Let's take a look now at Ellis County. In January of 2022, your median monthly mortgage payment would be $1,593 a month, okay? Your interest rate at that time was 3% and the median sales price would be 377,923. So again, fast forward to today, and to get to that same monthly payment at 6.5% interest, the median sales price would need to be 252,000. Okay, so that's a difference of 125,923. Again, no surprise, a full one third of the price. So how close are we getting to our target there? Okay, that price that we need to see. Well, as of today, the median monthly payment is 2,370, with a median sales price of 374,900. Okay, so that's a lot of data, but do you see that interest rates have that huge of an impact on affordability? Every time interest rates go down by just 1%, you need prices to drop by an equivalent of 11%, okay? So what is more likely in the Dallas housing market that interest rates drop by 1% or that prices drop by 11%, okay? We want to see affordability coming through price drops, okay? But realistically, it's going to come through interest rate movement. So interest rates drive affordability. Now, secondly, in Dallas, interest rates drive demand in an exponential way. Now, tell me the truth. As we were looking at those sales prices, okay, you probably expected to see sales prices down, right? Because affordability has been so compromised. Instead, we saw them increasing in every county except Ellis County. Okay, so why is that? Okay, well, the issue is a constantly reinforced and growing demand, okay? 300 people a day are relocating to Dallas and they all need a place to live, okay? Secondly, millennials and Gen Z, right? They're all wanting to enter the housing market. So we have a state of consistently high demand here in Dallas. Now, right now, we saw that prices have gone up, you know, in spite of a 6.5% interest rate. I mean, that's probably not what you expected but it goes back to demand. Now, because of that same high demand, when interest rates drop just slightly, just a little bit, we see a huge change in market activity. And of course, as buyers enter the market, we see demand driving prices up. In Dallas, pretty much the only thing that is effective in stopping demand is affordability. You know, when the interest rates went up last fall, demand and prices dropped off the edge of a cliff. Now we're in the spring, right? And even six and a half percent interest rates aren't enough to cause prices to drop. You know, it's demand versus affordability. And right now in the spring, demand is marginally coming ahead. Now, I want you to think about this if you're counting on affordability coming through price drops, all right? If that $420,000 home we saw in Denton County actually did drop to 280,000, right? In order to match that same monthly payment, what would happen? Right, so it's easy for us to picture it very personally as if we're the only person waiting, right, to enter the market. But in that event, there would be a relative stampede of buyers just like yourself who would drive those prices back up. Uh, realistically, okay, the prices would never be able to get that low, okay? So waiting for affordability to happen as a result of prices dropping, that won't occur in a vacuum, okay? You're not the only one waiting. All the other Dallas home buyers are waiting too and that demand is gonna drive prices back up. So if affordability is the most important thing to you, okay, that's your goal, okay, so this is just this is just about your wallet, okay? It's more likely that you're gonna find that through rates going down, okay, rather than prices going down, okay? Interest rates, again, are just more effective and more realistic, okay? So here are a few things, right, to think about, okay? When interest rates go up, your affordability factor is going to get worse, demand goes down, and prices go down. Now, when interest rates go down, affordability gets better, and it doesn't take much interest rate movement to increase by a lot, okay? A 1% drop is equal to 11% of a price drop. So buyers will enter the market, 
and that demand will drive the prices up. So are you starting to see how affordability and rock bottom home prices are two very different things? And realistically, in the Dallas housing market, you have to choose between those two goals. But, but okay, I see your doubt, right? It's palpable, okay? So let's play devil's advocate for a minute, all right? What would need to happen for you to be able to have both okay you want affordable and you want it at rock bottom prices you know all those people who are predicting a 50 percent drop in values right this is the platform they're counting on well first of all to really get that affordability you really are going to have to see interest rates go down okay interest rate again affects affordability so much more than home prices. Secondly, you'd have to see buyer demand evaporate in the midst of interest rates going down and as homes are becoming more affordable. Otherwise, we're right back to bidding wars, right? Okay, if buyer demand, now if that won't evaporate, and in Dallas, it's not going to, the market will need to be flooded with an oversaturation of affordable homes. So essentially, to have your cake and eat it too, what you're watching for in the market, you wanna see rates drop, you wanna see prices drop right along with those rates, and there needs to be a sudden, just massive influx of affordable homes so buyer demand doesn't drive prices back up. Now, I don't see that scenario playing out, but I would definitely love to hear your opinion on that, so definitely comment below. To recap, if affordable is your goal, remember to get the same affordability you would get from interest rates going down, prices would need to drop in the hundreds of thousands of dollars and you would need no one else competing with you. If you have other buyers competing with you, that will drive prices right back up. So your most likely place that affordability is going to come from is lower interest rates, you know, or obviously, you know, from the equity and selling your own home, right? With affordability as your goal, interest rates coming down will bring you there, okay? You just need to, you know, mentally prepare yourself for what that will look like, okay? You know, high demand will result in bidding wars, paying over the list price, shortened inspection periods, right? But that is the likely road to maximum affordability. So ideally, you're very aware of the market and you're the first buyer out the gate when rates come down to a level that works for you. Now, if rock bottom prices are your goal. They're going to come from very low demand, okay? So if that is your goal, you're gonna have to swallow the idea of a higher interest rate, okay? Massive oversupply of affordable homes, okay? That could also lower demand, right? So we would just have to explore the question of where would those homes come from. So something to kind of be mindful of. Rock bottom prices from high interest rates, possible. Rock bottom prices accompanied by low interest rates, I don't see that happening. But again, if you disagree, I would love to hear your comments. So comment below. So, and now that you understand each side, what is your goal? Is an affordable low monthly payment the most important thing to you? Or are rock bottom prices your goal? Even if it means your monthly payment is higher, and it will, okay? In Dallas, you're not gonna get both. There's just too much demand for that. Too many other people waiting for the same thing. The market is very volatile right now. Again, we see low inflation measurements, then we see them a bit higher than the Fed wants to see, then we see mounting bank failures, right? So here's something I want you to kind of be mindful of, be thinking about. In the past, each time the Fed aggressively raised rates, that would trigger just a cascade of events, you know, kind of like a dam breaking, that would cause them to lower rates quickly. So after aggressive moves upward, you don't typically see rates coming down gradually, okay? You typically will see fast movement. So my recommendation is to be ready, okay? Be pre-approved by a lender. Have your buying plan in place, okay? Know where you wanna buy and what type of home you wanna buy. You know, if you're wanting rock bottom prices, that's gonna happen when interest rates are at their highest, okay? When demand is most inhibited. If you're wanting affordability, okay, you're gonna wanna see those rates come down. Just be aware that when they do, all the bidding wars are gonna come back, okay? So you wanna be that, you know, again, that first one out the gate, right, before demand spirals. So, are you buying now? Are you waiting until 2024? You need to know your goal and be ready to act quickly when the market brings it to you. Now, one thing we really didn't get into in this video is the predictive side, right? Big picture wise, we know we're looking for interest rate movement, right? But how can we know when the big changes are here, okay? How can we know when they're almost here? Well, to get that information, you're definitely gonna wanna check out this video where we check in with all the experts on when exactly that dam is gonna break. In the meantime, Wendy out.